So I'm here to talk to you today about an amazing woman who doesn't even have a tombstone. And I want you to help me get a plaque to commemorate her. Her name is May Alcott Neureka, and she was an American painter who died in 1879. Her remains are in the common grave of the Montrose Cemetery, which is a small suburb just outside of Paris. She was one of the first women artists to study abroad at a time when the Beaux Arts didn't admit women, and women were barred from painting from the nude. And she also depicted the plight of American people. Her art was truly radical. But if you go to the Montrose Cemetery today, you won't even know that she's there. And I want you to help me change that by liking this video, clicking on the link below, and signing the online petition to petition the mayor of Montrose to get a memorial plaque to remember May. So who is May? The name May Alcott Nureka probably sounds familiar to you already. She is the youngest sister of Louisa May Alcott, the author of the iconic young adult classic, Little Women. You may think of her as the bratty little sister Amy who burns her sister Jo's manuscript of short stories. But May is so much more than that. It's because women like May were courageous enough to pursue their careers and their studies that people like me have a chance to study women's history today. So what did May achieve and why should you care? She wrote a manual studying art abroad to help other young women who wanted to study in Paris. And in this book, she advocated opening the Beaux-Arts to women and allowing women to study from the nude. May's paintings also advocated for the rights of enslaved African peoples. Her most famous painting, La Negresse, was exhibited at the Paris Salon at the year of her death in 1879. The Paris Salon was the most prestigious exhibition in the whole of the country, and perhaps even in the world. And at this time, women were underrepresented there. And so it's a remarkable achievement that May managed to exhibit a painting depicting the humanity of an enslaved woman. So with all of these amazing achievements, why doesn't May have a tombstone where she's buried? She died of postpartum meningitis in 1879, and she was buried in Montrouge because that's where she was living at the time. However, 10 years later, as was common practice, she was moved to the common grave, and as there were no longer any relatives living in the Montrouge area, no one was able to pay for her lot. So there she still lies without a monument. That's why I'm asking you to click on the link below and sign the petition so we can ask the Mayor of Montrose to get May a memorial plaque. Her amazing achievements as a woman artist deserve to be remembered. Please like the video and click on the link. Thank you.